Hey everybody, welcome to another video installment. So the, from our last video, uh, we had this bar here, which had a canvas to the underside of the windows there and down into the engine bay to try and keep most of the dust from blasting this entire area of the bow. See, which is now all done and uh, so this is what was painted including the floor you can see the state of it again luckily it's just dust it'll just vacuum up and brush it off and I can resume painting this is more or less where I stopped I kind of trapped myself in there and the same on the other side is kind of the very same but different because I got that much done but didn't get anything down there whereas the actual engine bays in underneath are all done just to be uh, made look yellow again back walls need to be done one side needs to be the other side is kind of done and that's down to the aft cabin that's completely done so this is the worst the boat is ever going to look dirty boys other than sawdust when I start building cabins and whatnot um, Everything came up fine, very happy with the progress. Totally smooth metal again. And uh, ceilings all came up fine. Just get out of the way of the light. And uh, so that's the end of it. I've most of it scooped out. There's still tons of it. Sand and grit and everything down there let us come out of it and uh, we'll get that out in the next two days for this thing back to being completely dust free and then we can commence painting again and bring it on to the next level so that's just a little update sorry for the shaky camera work it's kind of balancing on things and I'll talk to you again thank you so finally the uh Blaster is back on the ground. I can't see if I'm looking at it or the bin. There's a bin down there as well. So that was moved down with a trusty block and tackle. And we pinched it all off the radar arch up there with a strap and dragged it up out of there. And just held it away from the walls and whatnot. Pulled it up over the edge, straight across, down over the edge and onto the ground. So we're kind of cleaned out inside now. Uh, the main part of the dust is gone. We've put in the fake floors here to get at the roof to clean all that all up there It's be all dusted and vacuumed and here we have the complete bow section um, It's only swept out for now, but there's very little there and uh, vacuum all that out and We're good to paint so hopefully That's the next few days for us uh, all down underneath still has to be done, but we'll get the top done first and get all this painted first and then move down when we're done. Still haven't got into the aft cabin, I'm sure the dust has gotten in there no matter how much uh, protection we tried because it literally just went everywhere. So that's today's achievement. Uh, that's the last time the boat's going to be this dirty. It's going to be yellow soon and then it'll be building. So from the rusty pictures we all saw a couple of weeks ago to now a clean tidy hull, ready for paint. Uh, I have to say it's fully restored. So that's this little bit part of it and uh, we'll talk again. Bye. Hi everyone, uh, just a little update on how things are going. Finally the weather has uh, gotten better. Excuse the little breeze in the background and we've managed to take all the windows off. And this is the state of play internally. So the painting has recommenced. I have a bit to do on the floor underneath us there. There's all the bow completely unpainted but all cleaned out. And today, when the windows are off for the first time in weeks, uh, we're going to paint the whole coach house roof, all of that. 
And yesterday we cut away some of these sections in here. You can see, uh, let's see, can I see it? There we go. We cut all this away. These should come out in the middle bit there under the center window, maybe 14 inches, 400 mil, something like that, 16 inches. And it was uh, a straight line across, but that doesn't suit the way I'm going to build the dash and getting down to the bow and the dinette area over there. So uh, we cut them away rather than cut them after paint. So poke in this window. So the inside of the cowl, I'll come in around from the other side now in a sec, has all been painted as well. And uh, the rest of it is, uh, you know, dirty after the power, after the sandblasting, but it's fine, it's just dust on it and uh, that'll get two more coats long before anything ever goes in there and the insulation. So I'll pause here now, or no, we'll just walk around the decks of Shibumi. Um, in the couple of days that we couldn't paint, when it was just too cold, we cut all the baffles out of the fuel tanks that are all chopped up because they were perfect and the new fuel tanks will be more or less the same as the old ones. So pointless throwing away that metal and rescuing uh, all the different various bits of metal. So that piece there, which is halfway done and the other side is completely done, Dara's doing that, is um, going to be the underside of the swim deck, which needs to be plated. And there was bits I had cut ages years ago um to do this uh to plate it all and they were just sitting there and it was just a case of brushing them off this also we found a load of sand that we had left over from years ago when we were blasting originally so we made this little tray and it takes about two days you can dry four bags of sand there and put them into and we're storing them all in those wheelie bins so uh that'll be ready for the exterior blasting which will happen hopefully in a couple of weeks time so as you can see we're now looking like a new boat this remember I'll all get spray and insulation. Um, so it's not it's only his first coat, so I'm not worried about you know if it's thick or thin or what weight's on it. It's uh, a high build epoxy primer. It's horrible stuff, you can't breathe with it. But uh, you can see how uh, something that was so rusted and looked so bad has now been completely brought back to new. So internally, hopefully the light will change. I have half of that section there done and the rest of these to do. And then we use these ladders with boards, gives us floor up top. And then we're gonna paint all the, hopefully the light will catch that, there we go. And uh, paint all of this today. So if I can get all the inside of the windows done, all of this, the front three main windows, a bit of dash there, and the roof. Hopefully the light will catch it again. It did. Uh, I'll be happy. And then as we go forward, uh, this has all been swept out. All the grit is out of it. There's a bit of tidying to do after the grinding, all that dust there. And a quick vacuum, and I can start painting the bow section. So, and then the anchor locker. So that's it for now. This is part three of three updates that I'll put together on YouTube and share on Facebook. Thanks guys.